Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Belgian police have arrested seven people in connection with the terror attacks in Brussels. And the US says the two brothers who carried out the suicide bombings on Tuesday had been on its terror watch list. Earlier in the week, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said Ankara had warned Belgium that one of the Brussels bombers, Ibrahim El Bakrawi, was a terrorist. Turkey deported him to the Netherlands last July, but Belgium authorities later released him. Daesh has claimed responsibility for the bombings that killed 31 people and wounded 270 others. Officials have linked the attacks to the ones the terror group carried out in Paris last November. Bulgaria's Prime Minister says the country is ready to build a fence on its border with Greece. The country fears that refugees who've been shut out of the Western Balkan route may be heading its way. The Defence Minister asked for an additional $860,000 on Thursday to spend on essential equipment for army personnel patrolling the border. Meanwhile, at least 12,000 people are stranded at the Greece-Macedonia border. And the Greek government says a total of 50,000 people are currently stuck in Greece. Microsoft has taken a so-called chatbot offline for what it calls adjustments after the internet application started making abusive comments. The chatbot named Tay was created to experiment with and conduct research on conversational understanding. But some Twitter users soon taught it how to post racist, anti-feminist and pro-Nazi comments. Microsoft said, as it learns, some of its responses are inappropriate and indicative of the types of interactions some people are having with it. The Roman Catholic Pope has visited a refugee centre in Italy to perform a foot washing ceremony to mark Easter. The tradition is based on the ritual Jesus has believed to have performed on his apostles before he was crucified. It's usually reenacted with 12 Catholic men. But Pope Francis washed and kissed the feet of refugees, male and female, who were Muslim, Orthodox, Hindu and Catholic. The Vatican now says the ceremony can be performed on the people of God. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.